All right, catching community, this is Justin Duarte with Next Level Catching Academy looking at a couple of clips from some high-level D1 catchers with runners in scoring position. Uh, and we have another clip of one of our catchers just after training. And naturally, it's not going to be quite as difficult. The degree, of very, the, the degree of difficulty is much harder in the game here. Obviously, pitchers throwing harder. But let's take a look at some fundamentals and see if we can learn a couple of things, okay? Number one, this catcher is in a single knee position, not something that we uh, we advertise with guys on in scoring position. Yes, catchers should be able to manage blocks kind of within their knees, within that range. Um, but with a runner in scoring position, it's much easier. It's much more secure, higher percentage to execute this play. Okay, now let's go to the technique. All right, the technique sees that. He is flashing his mitt to the ground. We see this catcher kind of get his mitt down, which is fantastic. We want that. But then we also see him ride that mitt up. The mitt kind of floats up on him. This is where the, the, the ball stays down and it sneaks away. We see this from a lot of our young catchers. They get the mitt down and then they ride it up. And we, we really focus and we really hammer them on getting the glove down, getting the mitt down, but then also letting the hips follow. And we'll see that on, on our clip here at the end, all right? The next fundamental that we miss a lot as catchers, especially some of our high school guys, is they tend to fold quite a bit at the hip. They got a really sharp fold forward, as we see here, which really decreases their blocking surface. Okay, we can see how this gets really shallow. And it makes it very difficult for their eyes to stay down on the ball. And this is another fundamental that gets overlooked quite a bit. We want to do our best to watch impact on the dirt and then to watch impact on the chest protector. And so when we lean forward this far, we end up pushing our eyes and our head over our hips, making it very difficult for us to get our eyes down. We, we, we do know that some people like to teach just snap the head down. Well, just because the head goes down does not necessarily mean that the eyes are on the ball. So we try to say, we try to tell our catchers, keep your eyes on the ball. That allows us to make an adjustment if that ball gets down and then it kicks up high, right? Our eyes, now we stay upright. We're not folding down and then we're not allowing that ball to hit us on the top of the mask, on the head portion of the mask, okay? So those couple components we can see here in this block. We see the hands riding up. We see a sharp fold at the hips. Again, some, some catchers have been taught to fold and almost trap the ball, to settle the ball down underneath you. Uh, we teach our guys to be in between, kind of have maybe a 45 degree hinge at the hip um, and to allow gravity to pull that ball down. We don't have to force the ball down because there's already another force, another force of nature that's going to pull the ball down for us. We want to line it up. We want to absorb impact and have the ball sit down right in front of us. Okay, now this is, again, with a runner on third base, not something that we promote catchers catching from a single knee position. Um, we do see a lot of big leaguers doing that nowadays. Again, maybe the thought process is, Let's be in a single knee. Let's stay lower. Let's receive a strike. In our view, you know, if we miss out on a strike but we save a run because we're in a better secondary position, that helps our pitcher. That helps our team more, right, saving those runs. So in this clip here, we're going to see something similar. We're going to see the catcher ride over a little bit. And if, you, if we can see where the eyes are, the eyes start down on the ball. And as he moves over to center it, the eyes kind of quit a little bit early okay and we want these eyes to stay down again impact on the dirt impact on the body all the way we want to track it we talk about this quite a bit for hitting okay to watch contact we want to watch impact okay all the way through and that allows us to recover the ball without having to look for it after it has hit our chest protector okay here's another another opportunity with runners uh, on base and then now we go to our catcher here uh, at a recent camp again let's let's call this guy Weston here from Santa Ana okay we can see that he slides over really bad blocking surface as well okay his hands 
he kind of curls his hands up a little bit into his belt. We see that right here, okay? But he does a really nice job in this part of the block to get his hips down, which help his glove and his mitt get down. Notice how tight these spaces are down here, very, very tight. And it's not because he's pinched at the elbows. You can see that he's not pinched at the knees either. He's doing a really nice job, having really good posture. We love the Yachty drill to get young catchers to be able to feel this position, to feel the hips kind of slide down a little bit. When the hips are up, they tend to open up a lot of area down here in that five hole, and that's something that we do not want, okay? So as our catcher kind of gets his hands down, his hips drop a little bit, and now we can see what it looks like when the eyes are working. You can see that this ball kind of sits right underneath him as he's recovering, but because his eyes are on impact, he doesn't have to search for this ball and look around for it. He actually has done a really good job of watching impact to the dirt, impact to the body, and then we get into the recovery phase. We really like to teach our catchers to kind of work their hips slightly towards the ball and then to use that momentum that same momentum that they use getting down to use it coming upward, right? And typically, the ball doesn't sit right under it, right underneath us when we have a good block. Um, but here we have kind of a, a, again, a difficult blocking surface. There's a lot of holes down here, but what a great job by him seeing it all the way in and then keeping his eyes on it. In this position here, it's very easy for catchers to start lifting their eyes as they get set to throw to second base. And then they mishandle that recovery portion right there because they rush through it a little bit quickly. So those are a couple key components. Hands down, hips down. We want to center the ball and keep the eyes down from impact on the dirt to impact on the chest protector. Hope this helps you guys. Thank you guys for following along. Uh, we have more info. We have more videos on nextlevelcatchingacademy.com. Take care, baseball fans.